Hey guys, in this segment we'll discuss about second basic terminology that is called as architecture model. Now in previous lecture we have seen how to declare the entity terms. They are nothing but defining relationship between input and output. Now let us come across architecture. Now what actually architecture coding is? This? The internal details of any entity are specified by an architecture code. Now what do you mean by internal details? It is nothing but how actually the input and output terms are correlated. Now they may be correlated by using equations or by a logic diagram that simply specifies what is the relationship between input and output terms and based on that we can route it all the programming and this is done in case of architecture model. Now while defining architecture body we have to use three different styles of modeling such as behavioral modeling or behavioral style of modeling where we will write a set of sequential statements. Secondly we can deal with data flow style of modeling where we will write a set of concurrent statements and lastly we will deal with structural style of modeling where the set of interconnected components and their information has been given. Now why we need these three different styles of modeling because as far as any combinational or sequential circuit is considered so we can have some sets of concurrent statements which can be defined as uh, the statements which are executed parallel that means there is no sequence. We can have some set of sequence in case of that we can go for behavioral style of modeling and whenever we will deal with a logic diagram where set of interconnected components are there we will go for structural style of modeling. Now in next couple of lectures we will see them one by one starting with data flow, behavioral as well as structural style of modeling. Now how will you define our architecture? Let us see this with the help of syntax. Here we are defining the architecture so I have kept the name as architecture. Now we should have to define its name also so it is written as architecture name of the entity name. Now this entity name will be already defined we have to just use it in the same way. After that we should go with begin this is a statement that is written and we can add the statements it can be sequential or concurrent statement and finally we have to end the architecture. Now this architecture name can be it can be behavioral it can be data flow or it can be structural depending upon in which style of modeling you are adapting the data. Now this is going to be the syntax. Once the syntax is over, see the first style of modeling as data flow. Now friends, the name itself indicates there is a flow of data. That means this can be implemented using uh, the logical equations having concurrent statements. So here in this modeling style, the flow of data through the entity is expressed using concurrent signal assignment statements. That means Definitely we are going to use the concurrent statements where sequence doesn't matter. All the statements are executed in parallel with each other. How can you define it? So here I have written the name. I am defining architecture. The name is concurrent. Now why concurrent? Because we are dealing with concurrent statement of whatever the entity name is. This will be our first statement. Begin. We have to initialize this and we have to keep the statements. Finally, we have to end the concurrent. Now, in case of end concurrent, even if you write end architecture, it will be fine. So, in this way, one can define a data flow style of modeling. This is a simple syntax of defining data flow style of modeling. Let us see this with the help of half adder. Now, as far as half adder is considered, it accepts two input and it produces two outputs, namely sum and carry. And we have that expression sum as ax or b and carry as a and b. Uh, based on that, I have started with architecture. Here I have written HA that stands for half adder concurrent of uh, entity ka naam to hai ho jayega, half adder, half adder is. Then we will write begin. After begin, we will write this concurrent statements as a sum should be less than or equals to A x or P after 8 nanoseconds. That means this after 8 nanoseconds simply indicates the propagation delay. This propagation delay indicates the scheduled time after which the result as sum should be produced. Similarly, carry, I have written, it should be less than or equals to A and B after 4 nanoseconds. That means carry is scheduled to be produced after every 4 nanosecond. So this is going to be the set of concurrent statements. And finally, we will end it, end half concurrent. So in this way, one can write the uh, architecture body as data. Now here, if you see these two are nothing but 
concurrent statements because there is uh, there will not be any sequence whether sum is generated first or carry is generated first based on that i have written this as a set of concurrent statements let us take one more example as half subtract a uh, friend this is the truth table where we have two inputs a b and the output terms as difference and bar so based on this we can say 00011011 for that combination we have generated the result like this one and we have got that expression difference as a bar b plus a into b bar it can be written as a x or b and borrow as a bar into b because you can see borrow is one for a0 complementary and b1 as non complementary or uncomplementary so these two expressions we can execute so we have written architecture hs that stands for half subtractor concurrent of half subtractor is this will be the first statement uske baad mein begin likhenge begin then we'll write the expression first difference a x or b after 8 nanoseconds and secondly b not that is nothing but r borrow which is written as a bar that is nothing but not get so i written this as not a it is and with b and it is should to get result after 4 nanoseconds finally we'll end it as end hs concurrent so in this way you can write data flow modeling style for any combination of sequential